What's going on, everybody? And welcome to the Other Side of the Firewall podcast, where we talk about the latest and greatest in cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who've made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shan Times. What's up? What's up? What's going on? So welcome to Wednesday's episode, our discussion. So if you um, are just now tuning in, please go back to Monday and Tuesday, where we have our topics. So Monday was uh, talk about the the new Biden um, administration cybersecurity strategy uh, that was just released. Uh, then Tuesday, we talk about the uh, EPA and how they unveiled cybersecurity oversight for public drinking water systems. So those two go hand in hand, right? Uh, they see the synergy between those two. And now today, uh, our Wednesday discussion is concern, concerns an article I read on info security entitled TPM. Uh, TPM stands for Trusted Platform Module. So TPM 2.0 library vulnerabilities may affect billions with a B of IoT devices. Um, so we talk about it time and time again. We've 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 gone over articles um, about IoT devices. Like we had the one where um, it was like an Ocean's Eleven type situation where they broke into the casino payroll system uh, by uh, uh, they were able to get into the yeah the aquarium thermostat and then yeah. pivot from there to the pay system to then steal money from the casino i mean that's amazing <laughs> but iot devices uh for for those who are tuning in obviously internet of things so that's your your thermostats your um your cell phone your uh, your, your refrigerators your you refrigerator know, your, your smart your anything, toasters yeah. the smart things <laughs> yeah. The, the vulnerabilities all over your house, the the smart light bulbs, ring, like anything ring, with an IP. Ring doorbell is uh, probably the more common one that people will, will relate oh to. Oh, yeah. The, that, that can get you yeah. harmed, right? Like yeah. ring doorbells have been known to get people swatted. So like le legitimately law enforcement called because of ring doorbells on, on people. So um, they're very dangerous um, when not properly secured. And the, the biggest problem being when they uh, reach into life, you don't throw them away. You don't update them. They just sit there. And there's a list compiled of vulnerabilities uh, of these systems to then get into your homes, your offices, your whatever, um, to then wreak havoc on you. So this article centers on two vulnerabilities that were found. So uh, the first vulnerability um, goes by CVE 2023-1018. So it's an out-of-bound read bug, uh, while the second one is tracked as CVE 2023 1017 as defined as an out-of-bounds right um, vulnerability uh, that has been recently discovered and uh, they're working on patching this vulnerability but here's the problem with iot devices you're not tracking them you don't know what's in your house you don't know if it's in the life you don't do any research uh, and neither do i so <laughs> well, I do more now because of the podcast, right? But I, I like my smart devices, but those smart devices are uh, dangerous to your, uh, your, your infrastructure. And um, the people who are tracking these list of vulnerabilities are typically the, uh, the, the bad actors, right? So they're going through the list of things that they can potentially do to your smart cameras, your baby monitors, things of that nature, while you're just living your life. Um, so that's why we bring it up on the show uh, time and time again to try to bring it to your attention. Like, hey, be careful what you bring in the house, make sure you secure it. Um, and there are some frameworks being developed for IoT devices. Um, and we talked about those in the past as well. Like they're trying to figure out a way to hold vendors uh, accountable and their feet to the fire to make sure they continue to patch these things and alert you when uh, they no longer can or that there's a vulnerability that could affect you. So how do you feel about this, Shannon? So yeah, man, you you hit on a couple of things I was going to hit on too, man. So like we talked about it in the past, right? When it comes to the IoT devices, like no nobody is going to go through that list, right? Like they're going to be like, there, there are things they've even forgotten they have in their house, right? You just get complacent because it's been there all the time, right? You forget, you know, your Wi-Fi fridge, you know, the convenience that you have of that. You just get complacent with it. Your toasters, your your doorbells, your uh, like, even if you have a security system that has a camera, you know, that's in the house or something like that, like you forget about all of those things. And the fact that this is a, the fact that this is uh, attacking TPM, that's what makes it even worse because TPM is something that's put in place to help you with security, right? Like it kind of, the, the, the purpose of TPM is to store like those, not store the passwords, but like when it comes to 
communication with the devices, uh, like the different uh, cryptography, like the different uh, uh, security you're using when it comes to cryptography, uh, passwords, things like that. And for that to come under effect, it's kind of like, you know, when the, when the, when the password wallets, you know, get, get affected, right? Like you, a, a portion of security that's supposed to help you out getting attacked, like it's a fearful thing. I get it, right? But um, it's kind of the world we live in now. And and it's good that they discovered them, right? But I, th I think they said that they discovered it back in November, though, if I, I'm not mistaken, right? And then they just released the report. That I'm not thrilled with, but... Yeah, it took a while. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it took a while, yeah. To it took a while to for it to get out, to get to the public, right? And we've talked about that before as well, right? Like given a certain time frame, right? Whether it be 72 hours, 90 days, whatever it's going to be. But um, yeah, this is one of those things where like it, it, it's we all have to do better when it comes to those things, right? So like, um, it, it's, we love the convenience of the, the what the IoT things provide for us, right? But that's all we care about is the convenience of it. Security is often left behind. And this is where, this is how the hackers benefit from it, right? Because they know that as well, right? They know that people only care that they don't have to, they, they don't have to get up, you know, or they don't even have to use a remote anymore, right? They could just ask Alexa to turn the channel for them or whatever it may be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if Alexa does that because I don't have one, I don't trust her, you know what I mean? But <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it's it's different things like that that, that helps the bad guys win. Um, so we just have to be more vigilant. We have to be more vigilant and just do a little bit more research, right? So like, when you think about it, like how much time do we spend, you know, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter? I mean, you still should go to Twitter when it comes to, you know, looking at the other side of the firewall i'll give you that right you should you should take that time because, there you go get plugged yeah you know because it's <laughs> he over here you. preaching <laughs> <laughs> preach but uh yeah so like you should still you should still do that but you can find the time right like when you're doing all those other things throughout the day like I, a lot of people will tell you oh i'm busy throughout the day i'm busy throughout the day whatever whatever but think of all the time you spend doing those things to where it's like this is something for security right you'll wish you had spent the time when your bank account gets hacked right because somebody got in through your aquarium thermostat that's that's got wi-fi on it that you control you know what i mean you'd be like dang why didn't i i should have just taken that time you know what i'm saying but uh yeah i mean it's a, it's, it's a dangerous thing this is the world we live in but the avenues are out there to to help us combat these things right like it has a table out there that says hey these are the things uh that are affected right like this is the cve go look at the cve it'll tell you what you should do to protect against it right or give you a reference to go to something else even even if it's a matter of the vendor for the device may even have a fix for it but you just haven't gone out and done anything with it right like not everything is not everything is um uh automatically updated over the air you know what i'm saying so uh, we just got to take the time people we, we can't everybody nobody thinks about it until something goes wrong right so like being in it and ryan we know this right like when facebook is up and running at work nobody has a problem right but the second it goes down you're the worst person they know it's oh, like yeah. what, give the, me the team the team is horrible like they, yeah. everything's always down like, yeah. oh, nine nine th five nine you got five nines <laughs> <laughs> of the time you have been up you know what i mean but but yeah that's just we got to do our part people um uh us included right like I, i'm with you ryan like i don't i don't look into it too often but because because of the podcast though like i do look at it a lot more than what right I, you know what i mean so it's just like oh man i come across that and i'm like let me check that out you know what i'm saying so um but we got we got to get better people and, and and we can and the tools are out there for us to do so so yeah. So for those out there who who listen, who aren't, and because we're biased, right? We're in this field. We 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 know the lingo and things of that nature. If you're like, what is a CVE? So <laughs> so the best thing for you to do is just update your devices. Like that that is what's going to fix this. Like so this this is is uh is known by the vendor that this is a problem, right? So you hope um, that they're doing their due diligence and pushing out patches. But um, if there's a device in your network that you don't normally typically log into, like Shan, you can tell Shan doesn't have Alexa because he says her name outright, right? Like if <laughs> those of us who have her don't do not say her name because she will make that noise because she's ready to, to respond to you. <laughs> we are we have been conditioned to not say her name or the other name. <laughs> it starts with an S. Um because they will fire off. But uh just log into those devices, your your echoes, your um your your sky bell or ring doorbells your um just anything that you would use that would touch the internet just log into it and see if, it, if it's requiring an update because it may be something you need to manually do yourself right like sometimes you get a update on your phone you get the little you know red circle with the one on it 
you need to initiate it. So just log into all your devices and, and see if they need a uh, an update. And if they do, push it. Uh, that is that will help you out 99% of the time, right? Not excluding uh, supply chain attacks, but we won't go into that. <laughs> That's more fear. But for the most part, just update your stuff and you should be good to go. Because like this, this was figured out back in November. Um, so companies have had time to go in, make patches and push them out for devices that are in the life. You're just out of luck. Um, you have to do your own research on that to see if like, is this thing still getting patches? Like, um, your smaller devices, I can't even think of one, um, cause typically your, your bigger ones, like your echoes and smart speakers and things of that nature, they're always getting updates until they finally decide like, Hey, we no longer, like it doesn't even function. So now you need to upgrade to the, the next, um, device. But it'd be your your smaller products you need to be worried about, like your um, probably like baby monitors and things of that nature. Like looking at those to see if uh, if it's something that you can access through the internet, then it can be updated. So check to see if it has an update. Um, but yeah, I think that pretty much wraps it up for this one. Um, so then please check out our Monday and Tuesday episodes. Wednesday is always a good discussion. Uh, I was deba debating between this one and LastPass because LastPass had an update, and I was just like, I don't want to beat I don't want to beat LastPass up anymore, right? Um, so do your, please read, uh, on LastPass in case you have a password wallet and kind of what happened and they finally figured out, um, the, uh, the root of it was, uh, a, a spear phishing or I say, well, well phishing or whatever. Like they went, they went for the CEO. That's how they got the information. So everybody's susceptible, right? So just have to be careful. Do your due diligence, uh, be safe while, while you're, um, you're out here on these these uh internet streets but uh continue to tune into the show um hit us up on our websites that all go by our name or you can hit me up personally i am at ryry security guy that's ryry security guy i'm on linkedin clubhouse and twitter stay safe stay secure